If you want to write a book and become a best-selling author, you're in the right place. At Elite Online Publishing, we can help you create, publish, and market your book so that it becomes a number one bestseller. We work with a limited number of authors to ensure that they receive the best possible service. So if you want to learn how to write and publish a book that will empower you to smartly grow your brand, business, and credibility, apply today. We look forward to working with you. Hey everyone, welcome to the Elite Publishing Podcast. We're so happy to have you here today. We have a wonderful author, um, the author of Conquering Your Mountain, Solving Problems Through Innovation. And his name is Daniel Stein Endure. I got to remember the Endure part because his book is on Amazon. And welcome. Thanks for coming today, Dan. Thanks for having me, Melanie. All right. So tell me, why did you decide to write a book about this subject? And what encouraged you to just... Take all that knowledge and put it into a book. Okay. I'm, I always say I'm a recovering lawyer than a recovering CEO. I've led public and private companies. And I learned over the years that the key to any of these companies is, and all of us, is the ability to be creative and innovative. That's what you need to do. Every company, if you go back to COVID, how many companies went out of existence? Be innovative to survive. So I presented the opportunity to a major business publication based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And by the way, Milwaukee is where the RNC has just conducted their convention here, which turned out to be successful. And people from all the country say, boy, we love Milwaukee. We want to visit it. We're on Lake Michigan. We have great rivers. Anyhow, so I wrote a column for, for a long time called Innovate or Die. And, and, the, and I didn't make that term up. It came from uh, Clayton Christensen. And that if you're in business, if you don't learn to be innovative, you're going to die. Your, mm-hmm. your company is going to go out of business. So my column was called Innovate or Die, and I really would track how other companies, what did they do to implement challenges they had? Um, what is it they did to overcome markets that changed? We live in a world where, I mean, if you go anywhere now, you use GPS. Mm-hmm. Well, what, if, what if you're making maps? What do you do <clears throat> if you're making maps and you have GPS? I mean, everything. Have you made landlines? Now you have cell phones. I mean, all this is what business is. It's yeah. a war out there. Yeah. And it's constantly requiring innovation. So when my books are more by the book I wrote, and I've, actually I've had a couple of them out, is there more almost reference? Mm-hmm. You got a problem. Um, your board of directors is keeping you up at night. You're not, they're not helping you grow your company. All right, go to the chapter on board of directors. Yeah. And uh, it tells you how, it gives you ideas on how to deal with that problem, how to <laughs> use them to drive innovation and creativity in your organization. Because all of us share one thing in common as human. We all have problems. We have personal problems. We have professional problems. Yeah. And if we don't solve them, it can be the end of us or the end of our company. Well, you know, so you're, you're a mm-hmm. teacher. You're and a this teacher. book is a great way that they oh, can, if they're not in front of you to teach them in person, person, that it gives your message that. And it, and like you say, you Precisely. just turn to that chapter and they've got the information exactly. right there. Information. You, right most right people there. don't read that much anyway. They just go to the chapter you're having. Yeah. And, and you go right to that and it'll give you what some advice. It'll give you what other people, and I would interview CEOs and CEOs have been very successful. What did you do? How did you solve this problem? And it's basically stories of how they went about it. Yeah. So, and we all learn by storytelling. So it's the stories of other companies, how they've dealt with a given problem and whatever that problem is, it'll be in that book somewhere. So tell me for our aspiring authors, what was your writing process to to write these books? Well, you know, when you go to law school, you know your career is gonna depend on your ability to write. You have to write briefs, you have to write appeals briefs, you have to, you live in a world of communication as a lawyer. And so if you don't learn to write, you're probably not gonna let, you're not gonna make it in the law practice. But the writing process is pretty straightforward when it comes to creating something. Uh, Again, what's the problem we're trying to solve? All right. And then what story can I use to demonstrate a solution, a prospective solution? So it takes a basis of knowledge that I have from having been a business leader. And in this instance, what's the problem you're trying to solve that your readers or potential readers Mm -hmm. might find interesting? And then you give the solution based upon whoever you've interviewed or whatever. I mean, based on your own knowledge, but also tell stories of people And other business leaders who have struggled with what you have struggled with and have solved it. And what did they do? What's the problem we're going to focus on in this chapter? What's my personal experience? And then what story can I give them, the readers, to make it interesting? Mm -hmm. Because you go back to the caves thousands of years ago, you'll see stories and pictures up on the caves. People told stories to each other. It's a nice way of learning 
And now you have a book you can go to and find your a, find a, a possible solution to what you're facing. So um, tell us, um, did you self-publish your book? Did you, did you use a publisher? Because you have two different books. Describe, Describe that experience to us. Yeah, I, there's a publisher on the West Coast in California. I met him at a national speakers conference. And they published the book and they have to like what you have. And so it was very helpful to have a publisher like that to be able to tell you, well, here's what I need. They did everything from running a contest to what the book cover should look like. And that's we're conquering your mountains with the symbol of the mountains on the book. Because we all have mountains. So they were very good at guiding me. And then I, and what made it easy for me versus the average listener, I could draw on all my many years of columns that I had written. It was easy to take those columns and put them into the book you know, change them slightly so they fit the format of the book. So it made it easier that I had a, and I always tell people, if you want to be a great speaker, if you want to be a great writer, you need something to tell. Yeah. At that speaker's yeah. conference, I would talk to wonderful people, well-intentioned. So why do you want to speak? Oh, well, because I like doing this, but what's your bio? What have you done with your life that people can learn from you? Well, I mean, not much. And I said, well, don't waste your time. You're going to just spend a lot of money. You need to have a background and a story that have you learned in life where you have a demonstrated biography. I don't know your whole biography, Melanie. I'm sure it's pretty impressive to be where you are. You guys have a great gig. You've learned a lot. You didn't yeah. just grow up one day and say, I'm going to be a podcaster. You have learned a lot along the path of life. And so the most important thing, whether you're going to want to write or be a speaker, as many people want to do, you need to have a background a serious background that you have some collective wisdom. It's called crystallized intelligence. You've made mistakes. You've experienced things. You now have wisdom that you can share with others. If you don't have that, well, just keep reading other people's books until you have those experiences. Now, and some people can be very dramatic. Huh? I listen to Donna McCollum. You don't know her. She, she came, she's 50 years old. She came with it 133 feet of the top of Mount Everest before turning around. And her fans and her sponsors, but she had good reasons to do it. And lucky she did, because you're in the death zone. Had she didn't, she might not have been around to tell me the story. If you got a story like that, it was life-changing. That can lead to, I told her, you need to write a book. You know, that's a book and a story you should share. Yeah. And I always tell um, people, and, your and book is your speech and your speech your is your book. Is your Perfect speech. advice. Got to have something that's riveting, something that's different something that people can learn by. Mm -hmm. And I actually wrote one of my columns, my, one of my bi-monthly things about, and my, the lead was, is there, and we're all used to people winning and achieving their goals. And that's the people at the Super Bowl who get, are there times when you shouldn't get your goal? It's the right thing to do is to abandon the goal. Can all of us learn from what she's done? And what happened in the death zone at 26,000 feet, your body consumes thousands of calories, just like that, just to go 10. They ran out of food. She kept going for that additional 133 feet, which isn't so very much. She could have died of starvation, yeah. had not enough energy yeah. to get back down the mountain. So we always, and I gave examples like Muhammad Ali, brilliant boxer, world class. He stayed in the ring too long and ended up with Parkinson's or whatever. You know, it's so there are many times it's hard to give up on it. I've seen entrepreneurs push their product. And to the point they second mortgage their home, getting divorced and everything else. So I'm sure at some point on your podcast, you decided I'm going to keep this thing going because I'm getting enough positive feedback to do it. But my point is you had a story to tell and you knew how to tell it. So everybody, if you're going to publish, have a story to tell. Have something that's happened. Unless it's fiction. Now, fiction, you just have to have a great Yeah, nation. that's totally but different. Even then, you need to have lived a good part of your life. I mean, Hemingway had an amazing life. I know there's the Emily Dixons of the world who hardly ever left home. But for the most part, you better have a life where you experience enough things that your fiction would even be deeper. Yeah, Go well, ahead. I think even if you, people come to you, like, I don't think my story is that special, but they may have gone through something that other people have gone through. Like, oh, you know, 2008, and things crashed, everybody crashed. So my story is not unusual. But I tell people, there's churches on every corner practically here in Texas, and they're all teaching out of the same book, but it's your version of it. It's what happened to you that makes it unique. And if you can tell it, that can make an impact to somebody. Precisely. Take the rattlesnake story. Why do I tell that? How many people have been bitten by rattlesnakes? And there are others. But my experience and meeting mm -hmm. Captain Kirk and all those silly things and then ending up being recognized in the airport. So she, you're absolutely right. 
have something that's dramatic and interesting and that's personal to you. Mm -hmm. And so that's your, you've got to have that, as they say in publishing, that hook. Yes. What makes you different? What makes you different from other people's experiences? And there have been hundreds of people who have gone up Mount Everest. Yeah. She really had a unique experience. Oh, and by the way, she went back the next year. Hardly anyone was there because the weather was lousy. She had no backs, no sponsors, and she made it to the top. So Amazing. <laughs> I love it. That really made it. No. Thank you for sharing your uh, yes. book writing sharing experience. Your, uh, book writing. Tell us where people can yeah. find you. Okay. Again, it's the easiest. I mean, I have a website, Steininger and Associates, but it's probably easier to go to LinkedIn. And again, Dan Steininger, it's, it's Stein. Just think Beer Stein and then add an I-N-G-E-R at the end, Steininger. And just click it on. You'll see the books I've published. You'll see my bi-monthly newsletters. And of course, I'm going to start posting. I do some podcasts, so I'll have podcasts posted as well. Terrific. Terrific. Yeah, Thanks for coming. So Thanks everyone, coming. I hope you learned something everyone, about this and inspired to write your story and your, story your book and think about what's dramatic and special about dramatic, your life that can inspire other, other people. So my tip to you is reach out to us at Elite Online Publishing if you're interested in writing a book and we guarantee you'll be number one bestseller. And keep writing, everyone. Have a great week. If you want to write a book and become a best-selling author, you're in the right place. At Elite Online Publishing, we can help you create, publish, and market your book so that it becomes a number one bestseller. We work with a limited number of authors to ensure that they receive the best possible service. So if you want to learn how to write and publish a book that will empower you to smartly grow your brand, business, and credibility, apply today. We look forward to working with you.